Well, we've got our um, blower assembly back in and a new capacitor installed. It's always a good idea to install a new capacitor with a new motor. Nothing worse than taking out a 12-year-old motor, leaving in a 12-year-old capacitor, and then having it go bad a week later and having someone call you up and say, why did you just put in this new motor? It's not working. And then you have to explain why the capacitor is bad. Then they're going to ask you, why didn't you replace the capacitor? And you're not going to have an answer for that. So when you do a motor, you need to do a capacitor. All right, so we've hooked up our neutral to the motor and the capacity, capacitor wire to the motor. Those are usually brown, but you need to check the motor wiring if you're going to do something that's non-OEM. So we've got the common and hooked up. We have the capacitor hooked up. And now, if you remember, we're going to have to hook this blue wire back up to the um, control board that will park the black and the red wires on the control board, and then we'll fire it up and see what happens.